definitely looking forward to the season. Um, it's something where after practicing for so long, you just want it to start. And, uh, you know, the Big East is very good this year, and we're looking forward to starting that game uh, on New Year's Eve versus Georgetown at 10 p.m., and that'll be a lot of fun. And, you know, we start off non-conference with, you know, a very good schedule, and uh, we got to prove ourselves in the non-conference in order to, to make, a, make an impact in the, the Big East. It was uh, a lot of learning, I think, for every team. Uh, you know, for us, it was a good year, uh, and our expectations are a lot different. You know, our program's gone through a lot the last couple of years. I think we're in a much different place, uh, more of a position of strength than maybe we were one year, even two years ago. You know, we have seven newcomers, six freshmen. We have nine freshmen and sophomores in our program, but um, you know our expectations are high. You know we feel like we uh, are finally in a place where we can compete for Big East titles. I think for us to have a successful season or consider a successful season, um, you know we need to make the tournament and we need to win games in the tournament. Um, last year we made the tournament, but we weren't happy with that. You know we lost in the playing game. It was something where if we win a couple a couple of close games in the regular season then we put ourselves in a better position to be successful in the tournament, and that's what we need to do. The key is your leadership. You know, and again, having D. Davis as a senior, having Matt Stainbrook as a senior, uh, the nice thing about those two is they make the right play. You know, D was second in the Big East in assists a year ago with a bad shooting team. You know, Matt Stainbrook, to me, might be the best low post passer in all of college basketball. And when those two guys are your veterans, are your leaders that make the right play, it becomes infectious. Guys play the right way. They make the open pass. Now, the trick is when you have six freshmen defending at the level needed to win championships, you know, to play deep in the NCAA tournament, uh, that's where we're going to have to get those guys up to speed. The nice thing is our, our, our practices are extremely competitive. We have 12, 13 players that can play, um, and that's a luxury as a coach.